and probably the fact that Tom stood on top of the tyre and swang like he, uh, well, I hit it like it didn't have any friends. Yeah, he, he hit it like it wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back everybody. It is, uh, we are now entering our heat wave again. Not that we really got out of it, but we're now back into it. So today's gonna be 38. Tomorrow's 42. And then I think we're like 37, 39, 41, and then 43. So yeah, not ideal for uh, any work at all. Uh, that does range over the weekend as well, so that's all right. But uh, anyway, what I'm doing today, about to grab the window washer and head down and just give uh, Manny's windows a bit of a wash because they're getting pretty bad and Henry's only got, well he should maybe finish the gypsum today, if not today then tomorrow. He would have finished today except for he was obviously helping me yesterday with the uh, that dreaded loader tire. So yes, we've still got that issue. Um, so once I've done that, I'm gonna come back. We'll start the Mac and then we'll move it into here. Uh, Henry and I got that started yesterday afternoon, so Hopefully I can get it started again. And then we'll have a play around, just see if we can see where that air leak's coming from at the back there, and just see if we can fix that. Uh, Tom and George, they're gonna come up and have a look at the loader. They didn't believe me when I said that uh, we couldn't get the split ring off even once the bead was off. So <laughs> they're gonna come up and you know, give some assistance, you know, have some more, uh, more eyes over it and see if we can't get this damn tire off. Uh, if we can get the tire off, It'll change the whole day because I'll be going straight to town to get it to fit, get it changed. So uh, that's the plan. All right, let's uh, get this truck started now. So I'm gonna pump up, last time I pumped up the uh, the main supply and then the starter. So I'm gonna do starter first, then the main supply. And uh, we'll see how that goes. That's what we did last, well yesterday afternoon with Henry. And that worked for us, so we'll give that a go. Is it leaking out of here? No, so I reckon we're going to be able to start this, but I'll do both sides and then, uh, then we'll start it. All right, both tanks are pumped up. Let's see how we go. I know that I will uh, will get this all sorted and it'll be fine. And there'll be nothing to worry about. But uh, at the moment, I bloody hate this thing. Like this this starting system, it's uh, absolutely stupid and ridiculous. Both tanks are completely full, and that didn't even give it, you know, time for it to crank the bloody engine over. So. What you would do is just, you would uh, hook onto the uh, air starter tank, fill it up again. But no, I can't do that because the solenoid in there is obviously dicky and it's stuck open and it just pushes all my air out. So typically what you could do is wait for the, all the air to drain out and start again. So anyway, it's definitely not gonna pass inspection. I'll tell you that right now. All right, I've got it hooked on. Air is pumping into there. You come around here. And I'm sure you can hear it, but air is coming out of that right there. So I don't 
don't know what to do about that. I uh, have no experience with air starters or anything like that. I might see if I can do a Google or something like that, and, or a YouTube or something. Try and figure out what's going on there, why it's staying open. Can you just take that off and lube it up and then it's all gonna be fine? But for some reason, for some reason, once you have one go at it, it then that's solenoid or whatever stays open and all the air just leaks out. Um, and then you try again the next day and it's closed itself uh, and that you know that tank's empty now you know it's all come out here so I, I don't know what's causing it to close itself um time possibly but yeah this is uh it's a bit of a head scratcher I'd, I'd just, like i just said i got no experience with it so see what i can uh i can google and come up with okay so i've done a uh, a quick youtube and uh i now know a bit more about how this thing works uh, I guess I probably should have done that at the start, but anyway. So, this here is the exhaust. Now, I'm, I'm sure that uh, all, all the trucking people who uh, watch this are going to be rolling their eyes, but I'm uh, just explaining it for uh, everybody else. So, this here is the exhaust. Uh, so, that's called a muffler. Um, that's to quieten it down when you start in the truck over, so it's not so noisy. So, I mean, that's why it was off when it got to us, uh, you know, um, and that explains why the air keeps, you know, leaking out of there. Like it's designed to come out of there. So, but obviously the thing is meant to be sealed when it's, um, when it's operating so that the air doesn't come past. So anyway, we've got the muffler on now, um, which is, you know, which is good. But so what's, uh, what's happening is, well, I'm going to say this, this big long, big one here is our airline. This one here is, I'm assuming the fuel line because uh, just every time you start it, a bit of fuel goes in there just to lubricate the, uh, the fins. Um, in here, in that there, that's the actual starter. Well, this here is your, you know, that's your flywheel and that's your, your actual starter up there. But this here is uh, what the air comes into and turns to turn all that. Now this is, maybe I'll go to the whiteboard. Oh, I, I still have very limited knowledge on this, so don't get too upset if I'm getting it wrong. But from my understanding, uh, you've got like, let's just call it the wheel, and then there's uh, these plates that go on the wheel, and when you apply air into it, so air's coming in, and then it spins it around. Now, when it's, uh, um, when it's not in operation, I assume that they go back in, or this is where I'm, I'm still a little bit hazy on it, and I'm sure you guys can educate me. But what's happening uh, at the moment, all that air that's rushing out is one of these plates is stuck down like this. Or maybe two of the plates are stuck down like this. Or because these plates are you know, about yay long, uh, instead of it being, uh, you know, that, let me draw my circle. So the plate should be up here like this, like that. But the plate could be, you know, on an angle like this. There could be gank, gunk or anything like that. So air is just coming through here and that's what's causing my issue. Now, again, I've got very limited knowledge on, uh, on air starters, so uh, that's what I've gotten from uh, the YouTube video that I watched. Um, so what I might do is I might just see if I can pump some more air into this, see if I can start it. I'd like to, if I'm gonna take it apart, I'd like to do it in the shed, because it's about to be 38 degrees. I don't want to be out here. Um, but what I could be doing, what I could do is, uh, no, we didn't actually secure that back in, but what we could do is just under this, under the big air hose, there's three bolts going into the flywheel and we just pull it out, take it out, and then there's some bolts on the back here that we undo, we take them off and then we can uh, get this whole housing off and we can have a look and we can uh, see if it's stuck open, we can clean it up, uh, just to be able to, I want to make this so it's reliable. <laughs> and also so it passes inspection but as a fire truck it needs to be needs to be good to go every single time we want to start it so yeah we'll uh we will get it fixed whether it's by me or by the mechanic that's going to be doing the um doing the inspection and i think that's leaking air there's not enough air in this tank so If this is leaking air, then I'm going to have to do it out here. It's 
this is not settling itself back in. And that is, so if I'm gonna be doing it, I'm doing it out here. Well, this might have been short-lived. I am uh, struggling to get the bolt out. So there's uh, it's a 24 mil. There's three of them. Let's see if I can get the camera in here without falling over. All right, so you got one here. There's one below, which is easy to get to. And there's this one back here, just there. Which I can't get. Well, I can get the span onto, but I can't move it. I can't fit a socket in there because the socket's too big. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the bum. I don't know uh, why people would want to be a truck mechanic. There's just no room in here to move. Just, anyway, uh, I'm going to keep persisting, see how I go, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Right, it is impossible for me to get that third nut off. Um, they are, well, one. They are torqued to a ridiculous spec. Like I tried to move these other ones, not with a huge, like I wasn't trying to get them off, but I, uh, I couldn't move them. So I, if I was determined, I'd get them off. But the problem is I can't swing a span on the other side. So I was like, right, well, why don't I just take off the back cover here? And then I'd be able to see or do something there. But the problem is that the bolts are this long. So I can get one off, which is this bottom back, but this one here hits the filter, top one hits the filter, and I think the back top I could get off as well. So that's not gonna work either. My, uh, so I'm gonna just screw this back in together. My last resort, and I can tell that they've obviously done this starter motor at some point because, when I can get that off there, um, see up here, there's rust up there. It's from when they've been swinging spanners and hitting it. Um, so my last resort is to undo uh, this fitting just here. Put that out of the way. This fitting just here and see if I can actually move this pipe out of the way at all. And then I can then have a go at trying to swing a spanner in there. And, uh, sorry, camera's getting stuck. Um, then I can try and try and uh, yeah undo that bolt there. Um, it'd be nice to try and get this off and sorted before it's going to go in for inspection. But yeah, we'll just see. I've uh, I can only do what I can do with my uh, my limited knowledge on these trucks. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what we do. But um, yeah, that's that's my next point. So I'm just going to put this bolt back in, and uh, yeah. I'll see about, well, I'll go to the other side of the engine and see where that hose goes first, and then I'll uh, undo that one. I feel like one of those cave explorers wedging myself into places. Oh, hang on. All right, a little bit too close for comfort, isn't it? I, um, I was successful. Now, I did undo that. Let me get the camera around. I did undo this, but I couldn't move it and I just, yeah, I wasn't sure. So I just, I, I tightened it back up, I left it. And then I would tighten up my fuel back onto here and then I was tightening this back up and I had to get in how I am now to tighten this up because I just couldn't couldn't get it on the, on the thread. And then I was like, oh, I mean, I'm in here. This is a much better angle to attack from than what I was up there. So I'll give it a go, you know, um, see how I go. And I got movement, I got movement, I got movement. I was like, whoa, this is, uh, this is something's happening. And then I got no more movement, but we had a, um, a cut off 15, 16. So I use that slowly, but painfully, I got that bolt out. So now just gotta get this uh, air pipe off again. And then I gotta get these other two bolts off. 
And then, um, well, I'm hoping it just can come out easily, but I do have um, the fuel filters in the way. So, um, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna go getting it out, but I hope I can get it out nice and easily. Um, where am I gonna put you guys? I got this overflow pipe as well, which is in the way. All right, I don't know if you guys can see anything from back there, but I've got, got the second one off. Now the last one's gonna be difficult because I gotta lift it at the same time. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. There we go. Ooh. Oh, right now it'd be very handy to have a Henry that I could pass this to. Righty, oh, I didn't drop it on my head, so that's a that's a positive. So, hang on, let me turn the lights on over here. So we've got some lights on them, we can actually see what we're doing. Right, that's it. That is the air starter. So what I gotta do is take these four bolts off and then I should be able to uh, pry this off here and that should all come off. There'll be a plate and a bearing on the inside that I gotta, gotta get off. And then after that, I should be able to take this cover off and this cover off here. And then I should be able to take those plates out, give it a clean and uh, yeah, we should be, hopefully, back in business. Uh, this is the bearing I was talking about that I need to get out in order to um, in order to uh, get to those fins that I was talking about. There we have it. So these are what I was talking about. See how they move out? And it's on an elliptical drive so that these ones are, these ones are in and then as they come out, they go out and then they come, I'll get my hand out of the way for you. So you see how it works? Like that. Now, what I think is happening is that these are getting stuck. Uh, to be honest, they look pretty worn out. I, I don't know much about, oh, I don't know anything about air starters, but this to me, I would say that that is too loose. Uh, the fact that it's got slop like that. And that is where, that is what's causing my, uh, my air issue. So I'll see if I can just take this whole thing off, give those things a clean up and a bit of a lube with diesel and just go from there. So that is the uh, the fins. Now they don't look like they've been lubed at all. Uh, so that was that's probably one of our main issues. I'm not seeing. It actually looks really clean in here, apart from my hands. I'm not seeing any uh, build up of gunk. My guess is uh, that they just are flogged out. And um, 
that haven't been lubed. So I got a bit of diesel. I'm going to clean these up and uh, yeah, that'll be us. Righty, oh, so I've got my diesel. I don't have a spray bottle, so this is the best I can do. So we'll just uh, essentially just give it a clean up and then um, clean all around the uh, starter itself. Honestly, it looks pretty good, but uh, yeah, the, the diesel will help with cleaning and lubing. So yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? So I'll just show you what I'm doing when I'm spinning it over. I'm just having a look at it. And where I think it's gonna be uh, an issue, see how this one is on the angle? I believe that is why, can you see that with the light? It's on an angle, it should be straight. Well, I'd, I'd hope it would be straight. And uh, I'm thinking that's what's happening, is these are worn out and it's just, yeah, that's how it's letting air past. I can only guess though, um, and all I can do is just put this back together and chuck it in and hope for the best. And uh, if it didn't work, then you know, it's like quite a few hours of work wasted, but yeah, we, uh, we did our best educated thing that we could, so. But continue getting this back together, eh? That's all done, clean hands now. Uh, so, for those who might be unfamiliar with a, uh, a starter motor, this here is what, uh, obviously that spins. So, air comes in here, spins that, which spins all this, which spins this bit here, and then that, go outside. So that goes into, into there, and that's your flywheel, and that will spin, and then that starts the motor. So, after lunch, because it's lunchtime now, I will uh, attempt to get that back in, see how I go. And then the next thing that I might have a look at, there is a, uh, that, oh, you can't really see it. Just there is the, that's the solenoid that, uh, that starts the air, or lets the air flow through to the, um, to the uh, whole starter motor system. So I might have a look at that and just see, because that might be also staying open and letting air flow through. So yeah, that's also, I've also got that to check. And uh, if that doesn't work, then it's a mechanics, mechanics job. Right, so back from lunch and uh, Tom is now here. <laughs> I got that bit out. <laughs> By you, wiggling it. You lucky that didn't hit you in the head. So, yeah. Do you want me to explain what, <laughs> apart from the popping out flight? So, what I said beforehand was this solenoid up here, which is, that's what controls the, uh, the starter. So that comes all the way back here to what Tom has now just taken out. So that's the, the trigger solenoid for the main, if you want to call it the main dunk solenoid, which this is obviously... That big hose goes onto. Um, so yeah, air pressure comes in here and pushes against a piston which has got a spring on it. And this is a little bit stickier than what it should be, so it's been getting stuck. Oh, look at that. So we're look just how gross it is. Take it apart, clean it up, put some um, lanolin or inox or something in there. And um, yeah, hopefully she'll be, uh, the spring will be able to return it to shut the air off and the starter will work like it should. That'll be ideal. So I didn't really need to go and do the old uh, starter motor, but it's done now. But uh, hopefully this, uh, this does it, so we'll clean that up and then, yeah. We were just getting the, the cap off before that dropped it and nearly hit Tom in the head. So we'll clean this up and then it should be right. And I've got to obviously get a starter motor back in. Um, right, so we've cleaned all the old gunk off it. Um, the O-rings look pretty good, so we're reusing them. A bit of um, 
transmission oil, like hydro hydraulic transmission oil, which will be pretty good on the uh, rubber seals. And they're all nice and clean. We got all that crap that was on them off. And it's still a little stiff, but we can at least move it around. So that's probably, probably all good. We'll find out shortly. <laughs> we just won't be able to start the truck because I haven't got a starter motor in there. Yeah, we'll be able to test the air system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, and then Is that going to hold it? No, it's going to pop straight back out because we've lubricated yep. it. Hang on. Yeah. You got glasses on? Not yet. Just hold that there so it doesn't pop out on you. Yeah. Okay, swap your fingers. Oh! Yeah, so, so, so it when, doesn't do that. So when you, when <laughs> you say fingers <laughs> on there, let's do that before we <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Uh, hang on, this is going to need a decent clean again. Mm, bugger. Alright, take two. Uh, <laughs> I have got it this time. Push, oh. push it in as hard as you can. Yep. And I'm going to try really hard not to slip off and bite your fingers because that'll hurt like a... I'll try not to swear. <laughs> Like a beep <laughs> <laughs> flat lining. Oh man, man. Can we... Oh, we, we can hit that with. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> no angle. Keep going. It was I reckon it was nearly square. That of where this is. Somewhere there? Somewhere there, as long as we can get both on. Uh, what, do, what do I want? I'm lying on. Alright, so it's full of air. Now, what we're going to do is just start the key, turn it on, turn it off. And that should hopefully now not keep dumping the air like it was. That's much better. The fact that I can do a couple times, that is uh, much better. Now I need a uh, start. <laughs> okay, I know to you guys I haven't left the cab, <laughs> but we've just put the starter motor back in. So, look at that. We didn't even, that has changed the game. Having that, uh, the, making sure the starter motor was good and then also checking to make, well, cleaning that up has made a huge difference, so no, I'm very happy with that. Right, well, Tom made a liar out of me, either that or my, uh, all the penetrating oil we did yesterday worked, but we've got the, uh, we got the locking ring, locking ring and then we got the, uh, the, well, I'll show you on the back of the ute, what came off. So... Lots of gravy was lost, but we got them off. And probably the fact that Tom stood on top of the tire and swang like he, uh... Well, I hit it like it didn't have any fruit. Yeah. <laughs> he hit it like it wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, it came off. So we're gonna leave that like that now because we've at least got it off. And when uh, ECTM get here tomorrow, they'll be able to just whack onto the back here and break the bead because the bead's still on this one. And then just pop the tire off, get it all done. And then we'll be doing that one as well because uh, we've got all these cracks and I'm going to guess there's going to be a significant tread difference. And you, and you change the tyre on there, you don't take the rim off. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. He, it works. If you can't get the rim off, you just... Yeah, he'll just boop, 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 done. It's easy. You just... You just <laughs> yeah, you just. It. It's spent us up. We did a whole day on that. <laughs> Rightio, so back up at the shed now. Uh, just turning all lights off and things like that. Currently 37 degrees and uh, it's, you know, uh, afternoon, so I'm not, what is the time? Nearly four o'clock, so I'm gonna go and knock off. I'm gonna go have a shower. Pretty sweaty after doing all that. Uh, but no, I'm glad we got, uh, glad we got the truck sorted. That air starter was giving me a lot of, lot of annoyance. So I'm glad that that's sorted now. And then uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, us working on this and getting this all ready to be an absolute weapon of a firefighter, so. Subscribe to uh, obviously see when that happens because it's going to be yeah it's going to be awesome uh, and then yeah also glad that we got uh, that tire sorted down there so it's going to be a lot easier for tomorrow when uh, old mate gets out here and we start working on that uh, changing the tires 
So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there because I did already mention it's 37 degrees and it's just hot. So I'm gonna go home. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Go and listen to the Glass Cage podcast. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.